Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Now yesterday I showed you how to build the saw blade gun without the upgrade. And I said that we were going I was going to make a video as soon as the upgraded saw blade has been found. And here we go, I didn't lie. Upgrade saw blade has been found. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. So first thing you're gonna want to do is turn on the power. I'm pretty sure that's what you want to do anyways but you gotta turn on the power then you gotta go open up pack a punch and then what you want to do is you want to come over to this wall and buy this sniper rifle because you're going to need it in order to see these enigma machines in order to use it for later on in a step the first one you're gonna see is right next to this flat cannon and you see it has the number five in front you don't do three don't do four you do five the one underneath the bar so that there is going to be six numbers we only found five enigma machines so since this looks like it's going to be in the five place we're going to set five in the fifth spot Now the next place where the Enigma machine is, is right underneath these floorboards. And with this one, you can see that it has a negative sign. And it looks like it's right where, right to the left of 5. So you put right next to 5, the negative sign. So it's something, 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 negative, some, 5, something. Alright, the next Enigma machine we got is sitting right on this curb, right where you find Dr. Straub. And that Enigma machine actually says zero, and it's to the right of five from the first Enigma machine that we saw. So in the square, as you see up in the top, we put zero next to the five on the right. The next Enigma machine is underneath this doorway, and it, this is to the left of the negative sign. So it is five minus five zero. For the last Enigma machine, where that's at, is actually in the place that you want to be for this next step. That is if you've completed this whole list before doing it because you need to turn on the artillery cannon by, you know, cutting out the person's head, then placing it on someone else, defending a bomber zombie to place a uber schnell there, then charging it up, and then doing all that before you can do this and once you got that done let's show you the very last placement of the enigma machine and the last enigma machine is actually going to be in the middle of this window at the artillery cannon and it has the plus sign in the very left spot so now that you've written everything down and as you can see on the screen now we have plus something 5 minus 5 0 now it's not the same for everyone so this could be a completely different number which it most likely will I'm gonna put right now on screen footage of glitching queen for some reason I cannot for the life of me get done <laughs> with defending the head I don't know why but I keep dying from all from all of the zombies and for some reason when I go over in there, that always the boss zombie comes in. And it's very frustrating. So for now, I have Glitching Queen to show the rest of it. So basically, once you have those numbers placed, you're going to want to go over to the artillery cannon and switch up the top dials by moving the handle down below to the numbers that you have. So Glitching Queen has negative 0, 1, something, 2, 5. The left cannon to move up and down, she moved it to negative 0, 1. And the right cannon, she moved it to negative or plus because they don't know. She doesn't know. And had it 25. And you just have to trial and error with this, but you will get it for sure. And once you do get it... Once you fire the cannon, you turn around and you get this little tube that will spawn in. And then what you can just do is you go over to the Pack-A-Punch, place it in, pull out your buzzsaw, and there you go. You're able to upgrade your buzzsaw. 
And all this does is basically it just gives you more ammo inside of your buzzsaw. We don't know if it upgrades the damage or anything, but sadly, I don't think it does. So, with that now being all done and said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you out to complete the Easter egg even more. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye bye!